addition to bribing law enforcement officers to give them confidential files as part of their spy operations, the ADL has also been working overtly with law enforcement, getting paid large amounts of money to train police officers and government officials. The ADL has set up what it calls a Law Enforcement Agency Resource Network. As part of this network, the ADL, quote, offers to provide training to police personnel on how to recognize and deal with hate criminals and speech criminals, close quote. In 2002, then-police chief Bernard Parks signed a formal agreement with the Anti-Defamation League in order to allow the Los Angeles Police Department and the ADL to share information in the effort to protect citizens from ADL-declared haters and extremists. The then Los Angeles Regional Director of the ADL in response to the agreement. We are committed to providing law enforcement agencies with the resources and tools to augment their ongoing efforts. We have extensive resources available to law enforcement, including current and archival information, analysis, and programs. What isn't mentioned is that much of the archival information was obtained illegally. Considering that Los Angeles was one of the cities prominently involved in the ADL spy operation less than a decade earlier, it is quite shocking that the LAPD would enter into such an agreement. But Bernard Parks hasn't been the only high-ranking law enforcement official to ally himself with the Anti-Defamation League. Elmer H. Tippett Jr., Vice President for Public Safety at the Metropolitan Washington Airports Authority was... Pleasantly surprised to learn of the vast capabilities and the assistance your organization is capable of rendering to law enforcement. L.A. County Undersheriff William T. Stonick. I laud the efforts of the Anti-Defamation League for their foresight and commitment to partnership with law enforcement to ensure that our communities are free of the scourges of bigotry and hate. Through our partnership, we will be able to provide line-level law enforcement with links to community-based organizations, enhanced education and information sharing that will bring greater efficiencies to our fight against bigotry and hate. The Sheriff's Department stands with our partners in law enforcement and the Anti-Defamation League to lead the fight against racism, sexism, anti-Semitism, homophobia, and bigotry in all its forms. Bill Bratton, former New York City Police Commissioner. ADL's new law enforcement initiative with its new webpage and training curricula will prove to be a significant addition to law enforcement efforts nationwide to deal more effectively with extremists, hate groups, and biased crimes. I applaud their efforts. Chief Donald Martin, President, Bergen County Police Chiefs Association and Chief, Edgewater, New Jersey Police Department. Freedom from fear and hate is guaranteed under the U.S. Constitution. Every law enforcement official guarantees he will do his best to protect and defend those freedoms. In the conquest of fear and hate, too often the tools upon which law enforcement relies on fall short. This is why I'm sincerely thankful to ADL for providing these essential tools to get rid of the fear and hate. CIA Deputy Director for Intelligence, Johnny McLaughlin. For nine decades, the ADL has fought hatred and intolerance and prejudice and discrimination here in America and abroad. Director of the FBI, Robert Mueller, in May 2002. We in the FBI tremendously value your perspectives and your partnership. Your insights and research into extremism are particularly helpful to us, shedding light on the changing nature of the terrorist threats facing America. Your support of hate crime and terrorist investigations, which are now front and center in the work of the FBI, is essential to us. And the training and education you provide for the FBI and for law enforcement have never been more relevant. That includes a conference on extremist and terrorist threats that you were sponsoring later this month at the FBI Academy. So thank you for all these efforts. And again, I look forward to working with you to strengthen our partnership. The Law Enforcement Agency Resource Network also includes training on how law enforcement can better protect American citizens from extremists and haters. On Tuesday, April 16, 2002, the ADL hosted a meeting of the Committee on Terrorism of the International Association of Chiefs of Police. This committee, chaired by a senior FBI official from Washington, heard presentations from ADL experts on Islamic fundamentalism and domestic terrorism, and saw a demonstration of ADL's LEARN website, a new CD-ROM guide to extremism in America. In October 2002, the ADL sent out a press release in which they declared, 
By the end of 2002, more than 1,000 Colorado police officers will have completed the Anti-Defamation League's anti-bias training. On March 25th, 2003, the ADL with the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the United States Attorney's Office held a conference entitled Domestic Terrorism from Detection to Response. Joanna Libros, ADL Director of Investigative Research, Southern Region, and Coordinator of the conference. This conference was used as a resource, not only for law enforcement officials to update their methods, but to build relationships with officers from around the Southeast. On May 8, 2003, Robert A. Martin, the Anti-Defamation League's Director of Security, addressed the International Association of Chiefs of Police Committee on Terrorism at the organization's mid-year meeting in Dallas, Texas. The meeting was also attended by representatives of the Dallas Police Department and the Dallas FBI. Mr. Martin gave an overview of ADL and its expertise in domestic terrorism and hate crimes. In July 2003, the ADL gave hate crime training to officers in Gloucester, Massachusetts, according to the ADL. The training is a follow-up to a more limited ADL hate crimes training in which the department had participated, along with 200 other police departments throughout Massachusetts, in 2000. This instruction is the latest in a current series of law enforcement training sessions in ADL's New England region. In June, ADL provided similar training to chiefs and senior detectives in 15 Massachusetts communities. On January 14, 2004, Vermont's local paper, the Rutland Herald, published an article exposing the fact that the ADL sent 16 high-level law enforcement personnel to Israel for training so that our law enforcement officers could, quote, learn from the Israelis, close quote. 